Hello, and welcome back to our channel. I am Farwa, and you're watching Ninja Iraqi Dinar News YouTube channel. Hopefully, you all will be fine. Let's start today. The U.S. dollar rose against the Vietnamese dong Monday morning. Vietcom Bank sold the dollar at VND 24, 520, up 0.20% from Sunday. The State Bank of Vietnam kept its reference rate stable at VND 24, 015. The greenback was sold at VND 24, 700 on the black market, up 0.61%. It has increased by 3.33% since the beginning of the year. Globally, the dollar was steady on Monday as traders awaited another batch of inflation data from the U.S. that is expected to offer further clues this week on whether the Federal Reserve has more work to do to tame price pressures, Reuters reported. The Japanese yen remained vulnerable, hovering not far from a one-year low against the greenback as markets remained on watch for possible intervention by Tokyo. The dollar index, which measures the dollar against a basket of currencies, was last mostly flat at 105.80. Elsewhere, sterling stood at $1.2228 to the dollar, firm ahead of UK average weekly earnings data on Tuesday and a CPI reading on Wednesday. Vietcom Bank listed the buying rate at 24,100 VND USD and the selling rate at 24,470 VND USD. The buying rate was set at 25,253 VND slash EUR and the selling rate at 26,640 VND UR. Meanwhile, BIDV listed the buying rate at 24,160 VND USD and the selling rate at 24,460 VND USD. The buying rate was at 25,496 VND UR and the selling rate at 26,674 VND UR bought dot odal newly registered investment capital, additional capital, contributed capital for share purchases, and contributed capital from foreign investors totaled 25.762 billion USD in the first 10 months of 2023, an increase of 14.7% over the same period of 2022 and the highest increase since the beginning of this year. Vietnam has the potential to achieve a GDP growth rate of 6, 6.5% in 2024, driven by public investment, consumer spending, import-export recovery, and monetary policies, said Huyen Hoang Puong, head of investment research and analysis division at FIDT JSC. The GDP growth target set by the National Assembly is feasible, as recent reports on the global economy indicate signs of recovery, Huang said. He added that international organizations like the International Monetary Fund IMF also forecast that Vietnam's economic growth in 2024 will be among the highest in Southeast Asia. According to him, the monetary easing policy implemented from mid-2023 would support growth momentum next year. Meanwhile, the accelerated disbursement of public investment has helped stimulate the inflows of private capital and foreign investment, contributing to supporting businesses in their recovery and development efforts, he noted. Consumer spending, as one of the crucial factors in the economy, also serves as a driving force to boost growth, he said, stressing the need to have appropriate tax policies to stimulate consumer demand. Import-export activities have shown signs of recovery recently, which will encourage businesses and manufacturers to hire additional laborer, thereby stimulating higher spending demand, Huang added. He also expressed his optimism about positive prospects for Vietnam's stock market this year, saying that it has reached a fairly attractive value range after the recent adjustment period, opening up new opportunities for growth. Improved business prospects next year will serve as a major motivation for the stock market, especially in the context that low interest rates have been maintained and fiscal policies play a supportive role, Fuang went on. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.